All right, happy Tuesday, everyone. It is a beautiful, sunny February morning. A um, little bit of time between patients this morning. I wanted to do a quick tip for patients that are looking for causative factors to their inflammatory bowel disease. So anyone with Crohn's, anyone with colitis, um, as well as anyone with, with inflammation or arthritis of the spine, this information is important. Researchers this week published a paper that found a common link between these conditions. It was a bacteria or a form of bacteria called E. coli. This is a bacteria that is commonly found in the small and large bowel and it is overgrown in, in, in Crohn's patients. So the question with IBD is always as an inflammatory or as a autoimmune condition, the question is always what is triggering the immune system to attack the tissue. So in IBD, the immune system is attacking the lining of the bowel creating lesions. Um, so the question is always, what is stimulating this self-attack? And one of the answers to this question has, has been, become clear recently, and that is a bacterial overgrowth of, of E. coli. So for IBD patients, um, it's really, really important that you start by examining the role that infection is playing in this condition. Start with a probiotic, consult a, a healthcare practitioner um, that you trust. Um, they can prescribe a professional grade acidophilus um, or probiotic, and it'll make a huge difference in your symptoms. Um, again, not just with IBD, Crohn's or colitis, but also with, with arthritis, um, particularly of the spine. That is today's quick tip.